Welcome to this week's video. Uh, I've come out to Arn on the Purbeck Peninsula, RS uh, PB Arn, with a view to try and get some uh, video and some images of the seeker deer. They should be in their summer colours, which, which will be nice. Uh, I'm going to try and break the day up into two parts. Um, the first part is going to be here, and then maybe sort of midday, um, I'm going to move back on to do a bit of fishing uh, to try and sort of even out the cost of the, the petrol to try and make it more efficient. I've spoken to a friend of mine who's a bailiff on um, the Hampshire Avon and asked him what he knew about the Stour, this fairly local river. He contacted the Stour bailiff, but he said, or one of the Stour bailiffs, and he said it wasn't really probably worth it. So I'm going to drop back onto the Avon uh, near Fording Bridge uh, and finish off the day. So um, if I can't get any seeker deer, then whilst I'm here, I'm going to look for some of the birds and other wildlife. Um, it's, it's, most of the migrants are not about at the moment, so it's going to be sort of resident birds that, that we can see. Uh, there is uh, the Dartford Warbler here. Whether I can get one of those will be really quite nice. But yeah, just in, enjoy the day and finish off with a nice bit of fishing. So once you leave the car park, there's several trails. Uh, the one I like is to hug along the coast, which takes you up a hill where you can oversee uh, Paul Harbour, which is the second largest harbour in the world. And once you hit the high point, you're overlooking then the salt marshes. And it's these salt marshes that dawn and dusk, the seeker deer tend to feed. And what we're looking for is to go to the, the hide, which is overseeing these marshes. They were on the marshes, right over to the left, but they were too far away really to film. As I suspected, there wasn't going to be too much in the way of bird life, although there were quite a few resident curlew here, and then just beyond them, you've got some red shank. And here we've got the singular male shell duck. Walking back through uh, the cent one of the central trails, uh, I came across these two, two seeker bucks. And you can definitely see that the summer colours really do help to camouflage them amongst the, the ferns uh, and the heath here. coffee time. A little bit of success. I managed to catch uh, a group of uh, seeker deer. One buck, uh, a couple of hinds and fortunately, I was really pleased, there was a, a couple of fawns. It looked as if they may be uh, this year's, if not this, if this not this year's, then last year's fawns. So really pleased with that. Got a few minutes of that. There was, interestingly, a, a seeker deer barking behind me. I'm, I'm not sure whether that's going to be picked up um, in the video, but hopefully so. So there's quite a bit of farmland uh, in the in, in the Arm Peninsula here and this is where I came across uh, this family of uh, seeker deer. I must admit, when I filmed them in the winter, especially the bucks, they can look almost quite sinister and intimidating uh, in the winter colours, but here uh, they look quite attractive. Possibly not as good as the, the poster boy uh, red deer, but they're certainly competing, I think, in the, in the looks at stakes. Um, with the fallow deer. When Denise looked to the fittish, she really loved uh, the little fawns. You can see 
how sort of Disney took the sort of Bambi uh, inspiration from these these young kids. Once they moved out and away from the shade of the trees, you can really start to see them uh, in their in their lovely colours. It's about, it's about half five, six o'clock now, and they look really, really, really fabulous. But what I like from this view is you can is the distinction between the fallow deer uh, rump and, and and the seeker deer. The seeker deer is not quite that heart shape, um, and the tails are quite black and bold in fallow deer but with the seeker deer here you can see that it's a lot lighter and much the white is much broader i've just walked out onto the onto the salt marshes here to see if i could uh, see any um, it's really deep undergrowth and on my approach um, obviously just made a bit too much noise and uh, a couple of uh, seeker deer were out in the marshes and again made an amazing scream it's quite unique uh, and then off they went so it's eight o'clock now a couple of walkers just come past me so they're the first ones i've seen and yeah i'm gonna little wander around see if i can uh, get some more footage of some birds maybe but yeah quite pleased so far I did go on to Coombe Heath and another heath over the road to try and get the Dartford warbler but uh, it eluded me uh, today. But what I did get is caught some nice uh, pictures of some tone chats. So we have a sort of a male stone chat. Uh, followed by uh, a female uh, stone chat. And I'm really pleased uh, that I've got a, a nice image of a, of a juvenile sound chat. So it wasn't a complete failure. But moving away from Arm, managed to drive back uh, on the way home and pulled into Fording Bridge, which is a lovely piece of river here on the Avon. And yeah, finish the day with a, a nice relax, a bit of fishing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then maybe give it a like and subscribe. And as always, look forward to seeing you in the next one.